Today about 15 members of the Riley County Police Department are joining about 950 officers throughout the state of Kansas uh, in the annual torch run. Uh, this law enforcement torch run is a benefit for the Special Olympics and it's done internationally. The Special Olympics charity has been something that the Riley County Police Department has supported uh, for quite some time. Uh, we participate in the Polar Plunge every year, the Torch Run. Uh, this year we're happy to have members of our Corrections Division patrol uh, investigations as well as dispatch. The course is over 10 miles long. It starts at the Riley County, Pottawatomie County line. It'll go through Manhattan, down Fort Riley Boulevard, out K-18, and then it will end where we'll meet Fort Riley at the Fort Riley Ogden Gate. I've done it the last couple of years. Uh, it's a, kind of a good way to give back in the community, get out, be active. Um, it's a highly visible thing that we do on, a, on an annual basis, uh, running out on the highways, uh, wearing the shirts people see. We get lots of support, lots of honks. It's a good thing to just let people know that we're there and trying to help out as much as we can. It, it's definitely a distance uh, that they're running. Uh, I think really it's a, it's a testament to their dedication to serving the community. They're not necessarily doing this for fun, they're doing it to benefit the Special Olympics. Some people prepare for it, some people don't. Uh, there's the option, you, know, you can run a mile or two at a time, you can run the whole thing if you want. So Soon, Pottawatomie County Sheriff's Office should be bringing the torch, they'll hand it off and then, uh, they'll start their run from there. I'm Officer Drogi, the Twitter cop for RileyCountyPolice.org, and today we're running the torch. At about 11 o'clock this morning, members of the Riley County Police Department, along with members of the Pottawatomie County Sheriff's Office, and the members of, uh... RCP! At about 11 o'clock...